Hello everybody, I'm Ivor Rabbit. We're here on a set of Corsa in a BMW M2 G87 from Seki Performance. We're going to get our first impressions on the G87 here in a set of Corsa. So make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll just find the description box below. So we are inside the car, we are at uh, North Schleife, and we do have a fully functional, you know, dash. And let's see if we can do it. Let's, let's see if we can actually search. Did I not type it in all the way? Oh, I, the I never showed up. Oh, I forgot the L. Click to it. It does work. We can search. That's super nice. But we're going to put on the map. We are in the manual version. And this is going to be uh, super fun here. We're going to go full send here at North Schleife. I already like the sound of this car. So we do have the manual version. So we're going to be... Going full send. Um, can't wait to actually get a chance to drive one of these cars in real life once we get some of them. But here, instead of Corsa, we're gonna go full send. A lot of wind noise. Okay, brakes are not as good as I expected them to be. So something we gotta remember going to the remainder part of this course. But the good thing about having that nav up there is, you know, actually being able to uh, kind of have a track map. Because normally I don't drive with track maps on. Of course I know this. This road very well. Heel toe downshift. So far, I'm absolutely impressed with how this car is driving. This car is so grippy. I believe we are on. Uh, I don't know what traction show. I believe we're on traction show level one. But this car is definitely a car of a come out here in a set of Corsa and this is a extremely beautiful model and of course we do have a tuned version they did make a basically tuned car with some uh, intakes and stuff like that we're gonna definitely take that car out as well I was looking I was looking at the audio because I that wind is very loud Pop it down in a second through here. Utilizing that rumble. This car is very gripped up. This is a basic tune. I believe we're on semi slicks. If we were on sport tires, we would not be going, or street tires, we would not be going as fast through here as we are now. Oh, brakes, 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 brakes. Don't crush the car. Ooh. Brakes were not uh, not as good as I'd hoped it would be in that section. So brakes need a little bit of work. Though I could have been locking them up, but this car is, like I said, something I've been waiting for it to come out. And now we get the full, basically, rip on it here in a track, of course, where it would be driven at in testing. Probably could have went down in the second, but we'll stay in third. Horse feedback on this car is incredibly strong on the R21. I am fighting this wheel right now. 
Feels really good though, but oof. I think I'm uh, over pushing the car slightly. But it is kind of cool how it's got a full working, you know, display and everything like that. It's kind of a neat feature that people are putting into mods and stuff like that. I mean, the fact that I was able to Google my own YouTube channel on the YouTube app on there is pretty sweet. Android Auto. Oh, we're gonna hit the wall. Oh! We just barely scraped it. So, braking on this car. One thing that needs a little bit of know-how on when this thing is braking. I could be, like I said, locking them up possibly. Got brake bias adjustment, nope. But I'm ooh, quite impressed with this car and doing a cool drive in the new G87 here in a set of Corsa M2. I will uh, leave the link where you guys can get this car yourself if you want to give it a rip. For yourself i'll leave the link in the description box below but you know we're gonna be trying to drift this car and taking out the tuned one as well because we also do have a drift g87 that we are going to be taking a look at too a lot of new cars coming out in a set of corsa a lot of mods a lot of very nice beautiful mods as well Stay third. Ooh, we got a little squirrely coming out of that. But we're good. It is nice to see a stock one, a manual one, and a tuned one in the three available. For those that like to uh, go full send three pedals instead of just flappy paddles. Did I just take a screenshot? I did. Both my pedals take a screenshot on my display on the dashboard. That is kind of freaking cool. I wonder where those get saved to. Whoa. Those, Katie. wonder where those <laughs> flappy pedal screenshots get saved. Like I said, definitely. God, I'm very impressed with how this car is driving. Ooh. Skatey, but we're good. Kinda just, nope, we're gonna hit the wall. Nope. Oh man. Woo. Totally forgot about that turn. I said I know this track and then I go off, but we're all good. Ooh. Third gear. Overall, not a bad run. We've had a couple offs, but we haven't totally wrecked the car. Well, that's always a plus. Getting close to the, to the end of our run here. Super bumpy. Like I said, fighting the wheel because the feedback is extremely strong in this car, which is quite nice to have that very stiff feeling in the wheel. R21 definitely able to uh, utilize that. We're going to see how quick we can get this car up to. I think the heads up display is in miles, even though it says kilometers. 250 six gear ready to slow down now brake test I mean the brakes worked way well oh and we have a backup camera oh that's sick they did a really 
really nice job with this model. Can we change some of the, like, it's got radio, rear camera, wallpapers, my BMW app, Spotify, messages? No messages. Can we send messages? I don't know, contacts? Oh, that's kind of cool. Gallery? That's where the screenshots go. My BMW app. Distance driven. <laughs> oh, that is kind of sweet. We got a clock. Set. We can set alarms or do stopwatches or timers. So that's going to do it here for this episode. Here on the side of course, a quick look and a quick drive of the G87. Make sure you guys follow me on all social media. I'll let you find the description box below. As always, I thank you guys for coming back and watching. I'm Evil Rabbit. I'll see you guys on the track.